packing your paintings to ship them. So the internet is a fantastic thing. You're probably watching me on it now. And it's fantastic that we can sell our artwork anywhere in the world. The only slight downside is you may then have to try and get your artwork to that anywhere in the world. So what we're gonna do is take the canvas off a stretcher and then safely roll it up to ship it in the most effective and safest way. So now we have our canvas with a really flat or no textured finish rolled up. It's quite tight as you can see, rolled in plastic so it doesn't stick to the back of the canvas. Obviously you only want to do this after the work is well dry. We're talking many weeks, even months. Don't try rolling it up the afternoon after you've finished painting. So it's all packed up securely in this nice tough tube ready to freight to ship anywhere in the world. But what do you do if you've got some real texture on your canvas? A real relief or impasto painting. That's really simple. What we've done is we've rolled the canvas around a mandrel that we've made up out of cardboard, not having the canvas too tight and in fact not even rolling back over itself. This will make it much more compact and much safer for shipping rather than on a stretcher where you've got a very large area and it's taut. Firstly, because the canvas is not taut, it will sustain less damage if the box is, is bashed or, or kicked or dropped. Secondly, you don't want to tighten the canvas up, roll the canvas up too much if you've got real texture on the canvas to avoid deforming the surface or even potentially maybe cracking the surface as well. And so once we've rolled the canvas up, once again we're using plastic to stop it or anything sticking to the surface, we then top and bottom we put our holders on. You could make this a little bit narrower on the side so that the, uh, the box was smaller. It just happens to fit the box we have. And that way your work is kept completely secure. It has plenty of buffer room from being, uh, from being bashed on the sides and the work is not going to crack or have anything come near it that could damage it. So a quick tip to make the cylinder or the core that you're going to put your work on. You can buy nice flexible cardboard, but reusing cardboard that you're more likely to have normal boxes, you just need to break the structure on one side. So just by running it across a solid edge, um, you'll break that structure on one side. It makes it much easier to get that nice even curve. So that's really all there is to making up your own shipping boxes for your artwork and being able to ship them anywhere in the world. So just don't forget, make sure your artwork is well dry. When you go to roll it up, make sure you've got some clean plastic over the top of it so it doesn't stick to itself or anything else doesn't stick to it. If you've got a really thick relief painting, you may need to do as we've done here, which is not even roll it back on itself, but it still reduces the space. It's when it gets to its destination, it, it really wants to come out of the packaging as quickly as you can, lay it out flat again, just so you don't end up, once again, deforming any of the uh, acrylic, especially in thick paintings. And there you go, you can ship anywhere in the world. So here we are with our box packed up at the trade show in Germany. It's, the paintings have actually been in here for three months, which is not ideal, but we'll just see how well they have been transported.
And the same with a really textured piece that hadn't actually been dry for that long. Um, but yeah, it's in great nick.